Hello everyone, and welcome to Alcatraz. In this installment of Inside Zed, we cover the American M1927, or better known as the Thompson, or the Chicago Typewriter. Designed by John Thompson in the year 1917, Thompson originally envisioned semi-automatic rifles to replace the current bolt-action service rifles in use. In late 1917, Thompson envisioned a one-man handheld machine gun and 45 ACP as a trench boot for use in the ongoing trench warfare of World War I. Thompson's financial backer, Thomas Paine, designed the gun itself in addition to its magazines. The project was then titled Annihilator 1, and by 1918, most of the design issues had been resolved. However, the war ended before prototypes could be shipped to Europe. The Thompson was then primarily used by soldiers, criminals, police, and civilians alike for its compact size, large cartridge, reliability, and high volume of automatic fire. It has since gained popularity among civilian collectors for its historical significance. In game, the Thompson is available on the wall for a cost of 1600 points and comes equipped with a 50 round drum magazine and 350 rounds in reserve. This makes the Thompson one of the best wall weapons in terms of ammo longevity. Despite the high ammo count, the bullet damage is low, requiring many shots to take down one zombie as early as round 5. This can be a blessing in disguise, however, as the low damage will reward the player with a higher than average point intake. In addition to the high ammo count, the Thompson features a high fire rate and quick reloads. Perks to take into consideration include Double Tap, Speed Cola, and Jug Jump. Double Tap will double your damage output, Speed Cola will decrease reload times, and we pick Juggernog for obvious reasons. Although the weapon's longevity can be extended by a few rounds with the aforementioned perk augmentations, the Thompson is best used in the early rounds as a point holder. Once you construct the Icarus and take flight, you have the option to pack a punch. When pack a punched, the Thompson turns into the speakeasy. Changes are underwhelming, to say the least. The magazine size remains at 50, and reserve ammo only increases by 50 shots, for a total of 400 rounds. However, damage increases significantly and will remain effective until the late 20s. By this time, ammo consumption will become an issue, and with a steep price of 4,500 points to replenish ammunition, the speakeasy is best traded in for something with a little more punch. That is all for today. Until next time, goodbye my friends.